This is Dr. D. Nile on Curlew Island. Shit. It's, it's Monday the 7th of June. Winter. What a joke. We're bracing yet for another cyclone. I don't know if we'll get through this one okay. Reserve power has failed and the modem is fried. I need to record a case. It has potential national implications. This patient who is well known to be a hypochondriac was brought in today with atypical symptoms and a range of other injuries. I thought we could deal with the situation here, but I was very wrong. Did you hit her? No, I was just trying to park and she was lying there. I didn't hit her. I just want to get ready for the cyclone. Can you hear me, love? Has someone called triple zero? Better tell them there's been an accident. I told you I didn't hit her. Does anyone know who she is? She looks really familiar. I just want to get a tin of spag and she was lying there. She wouldn't move. Oh, it looks like someone's given her a decent flogging. Oh, look at those bruises. Can you hear me, love? She looks really hot. I don't mean, like, hot, I mean, you know, hot. You mean feverish? Yeah, yeah, hot. She's not breathing real well either. It's her. It's Mother Earth. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It is too. Yeah, it's Mother Earth. She looks so sick. We need to help her. We know what she's like. She's always going on and on about how crook she is. Yeah, but she looks pretty wasted this time. She can't look after herself. No, she doesn't understand the modern world. She understands how to get trashed. She's, she's been up right off for years. She's ancient. Is anybody looking after her? You'd think they'd do something for her. Well, they're probably sick of her. She must have been beautiful once. Very beautiful. I'm found at uh, 1424 hours, drowsed and confused at the ferry terminal car park. Um, lapsing several times into unconsciousness. She's breathing, but with difficulty. Oh, what? Not again, this is crap. I had to drive over the hill in a bleeding cyclone all for Mother Earth again. Yes, but this time I think it's for real. Mother Earth, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Mother Earth? She's febrile. Her temperature is way up. It's up over four degrees above the normal. That's not sustainable. I'll have to call in Dr. Now. He's gonna love this. He's trying to tie down his cruiser before the storm hits. Damn! That reminds me. I haven't put my jet skis out. We need to get her temperature down. Okay, I'll get the ice and sponges. Jamie, did you get those happy hour fares to Brizzy? Well, we're actually going to go to Tassie now, $128 return. How did you beat that? Dr. Nile is spewing. Mother Earth was just here last Friday with all the usual dramas. Yeah, well at least this time she's properly sick. He thinks our temperature readings are wrong. Bloody doctors! As if I can't read a bleeding thermometer! But she's incredibly dehydrated, I'll have to put a drip up. Just hope I can find a vein. Hey, look! Look at all these bruises. It's horrible gouges too. It's like someone's been taking chunks out of her. It's weird. I told the cops. Brendan's onto it. Great. Hey, by the way, when we go to Tassie, we're going to stay at the casino. Apparently there's an ancient rainforest around the pool. They've got trees, 100% exact replicas, 200 metres high. The kids are going to love it. Her eyes are very yellow. We'll need to do some LFTs, I expect. She looks toxic. Could she have been poisoned too? It's weird, all right. Last year, but then Todd decided to have the air conditioning put right way through the house. Well, he's promised we're going to go back to Dubai this year for the skiing. It's so well laid out. And do you know, they have 
ski slopes for dogs there. No, ski yeah. slopes for dogs, really? Yeah. <laughs> and the shopping, wow, the shopping. Oh, not Mother Earth again. What are her observations this time? Her temperature is 4 degrees above normal. And the blood pressure is very low. Numbers please, nurse. Low is not a number. Blood pressure is 80 over 40, Dr. Now. And she's got all these multiple wounds and bruises. It looks like an assault, Doctor. Shall I call for the chopper? We may still have time to evacuate before the storm hits. Look, I've seen, I've seen her too many times before. She may not look it, but she's quite resilient. I'm confident that we can manage her here. Yes. Hello. Yoo-hoo. You're the yoo Lizzie, look at her. Look at her expression. Oh, yeah. It's all like calm. She's totally away with the fairies. So guess what, I did? We bought this 3D plasma widescreen TV. It's brilliant. Just honestly, it's brilliant. We watched the V8 400s. Awesome. awesome. How is she now? Oh my God. Look at this. She's melting. Oh. Call Dr. Niall, Heidi. Let's see him tell us this is all okay. What again? Oh, wow. Okay, this is this is highly unusual. I've I've never seen anything like this before. Look, we'd better call the chopper. Jamie, can you call for the chopper? No, I can do. Just heard from the base that the chopper's been grounded. You can't risk it now. Look, okay. Keep keep up the IV. And the sponging, okay, and better give her some uh, PR Panadol. And um, you guys look after her. I'm gonna have to write a report. Lizzie, I'm scared. Don't worry, Heidi, I've got a torch. But look, Lizzie, look at Mother Earth. I think she's coming around. <laughs> Can you hear me? I think she's trying to say something. What did she say? She said her temperature's been high before, but she'll survive. And? And then she says she, she can't look after us anymore. <laughs> <laughs>